Fulmora 13 just got released, so... Here are four Fulmora 13 effects that I'm going to teach you how to do in this video. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with text-based editing. Now that sounds difficult, but trust me, it's very cool. So basically what you do is once you're in your home screen of your Fomora 13, and you want to go to this one that says AI text-based editing. This one right here with the little microphone. So once you press on that, it's gonna want you to select a file from one of your videos. So you can just select the one you want to do. So I'm just gonna select here, okay. So now you want to select text based editing, not the sound based editing, text based. So you just press OK. And now you just have to give it a few moments because now it's just processing and transcripting your entire video. It has created a whole transcript for my video. So now that's already pretty impressive. So basically what makes this so cool is, so let's say I didn't want that in my video. So simply all I do is I select that. that okay so and then as you guys can see it also selects here on the timeline and I say cut there you go so now I just edited my video by editing the text of that video that is pretty pretty cool okay so let's start with number two now number two is called AI masking now you know if you want to mask a subject you have to do all those little things around the subject well the Fomora 13 that changes so basically once you're in your Fomora as you guys can see here drag and drop your video into the timeline okay as so so let's say you want to mask out this person right here so you double click as always and you go to your mask settings but as you guys can see there's a new AI mask available press on that and then all you have to do is you select the person you don't even have to you just color it and there you have it now your person is masked by literally one little line okay so number three is pretty cool as well because now it changes the way that you use slow motion just let me cook okay so once you're in your editing software and let's just choose one of these clips for example okay so now you have a clip of a car driving so basically if you want to do the slow motion but let's say you want to speed ramp it so you go to your video effects you go to speed and then speed ramping press on customize scroll down and make it slower by doing taking these little dots down to the lowest point so now you've just gone speed ramping it but you see the problem now is as you guys can see the clip is very very jittery and very glitchy as you guys can see there the moment it starts to slow down it's like very glitchy so for more 13 once again came in clutch and they have a new feature called optical flow so basically you go down once you're here you just scroll down to this AI frame and then you say go down to optical flow now this won't work right away you have to render the cl clip first okay and after a little while it is done rendering and this is the final clip as you guys can see there the clip is so smooth after turning on optical flow so yeah that was number three so let's go to the last one number four okay so number four is kind of a strange one i didn't even know this existed but Fomora 13 once again is pretty cool so let me show you okay so once again once you're in your editing software basically you want to import the clip to the timeline now if you double click this clip and you go to the video effects you can obviously make it smaller but you see the background there is only black so you can make it bigger as well but when you make it smaller it becomes black it gives these black edges on the sides so basically what you do is you want to go scroll down until you find background and press ok so now you can literally edit your entire background so now it's set to blur you can do color so once you select color you can select what color your background should be or you can select pattern so it's all these little things that make Filmora 13 just like a whole new level 
of customization and editing. That's why I love Filmora so much because it can do so much, but it's yet so simple. So that was number four. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the four Filmora 13 effects. Now, I did an AI effects video because it's a whole separate part of Filmora 13. That video is right up here. And thanks again for Filmora for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. I don't think that hat throw worked. Peace out.